Hey everyone, in this video I will review the bathroom scene that I created using 3ds Max and Corona Render. I will show you how it was done step by step and hopefully you will find this video useful. And let's start by unhiding the floor layer. So for the floor I didn't use any generators like floor generator or anything else. It's just an editable poly with a shell modifier applied and I only used texture for this one. Now let's open up the walls layer. For walls you can see also very simple geometry, just a line, then I added the extrude modifier, added poly, and for the wall panels I just detached the polygons from the inside of the wall. I added some edges and uh, added the shell modifier and some chamfer and that's it for the wall panels. Now let's open up the doors and windows layer. For the door you can see also just a simple box here uh, with a chamfer applied and a very simple handle model. Now let's unhide the bathroom layer and if I open the group for these models you can see that for these models I applied turbo smooth modifier with the render iterations of 1 and I have 0 iterations in the main. It will show the smoothing in the render but not in the viewport and that's very useful when you want to save up some memory on your computer. And same I did for this model and for the all the other models that needed uh, turbo smoothing. Here I have uh, cabinets and also very simple geometry, just a basic box with a chamfer applied and also some shell modifiers. Mirror also very simple geometry. Here I have a sink. You can see so I have a turbo smooth with the render iterations of two. I have a simple accessories here, also nothing too difficult. Here I have glass panel same done with the boxes if we select this model also have turbo smooth just some accessories and as you can see all the geometry is very simple and there is not really much to talk about in terms of modeling it's very easy and now that we've talked about our modeling we can move on to the camera i have four cameras in my scene as you can see, I'll press C and this takes me to my camera. And if I press Shift plus F, it will show me the view that I will have from my camera. Let's also unhide the ceiling. For the camera settings, I didn't change anything much. So the only thing I've changed was field of view. It's set on 70 and the bigger the field of view, the wider our lens is gonna be. So for this camera, I put it to 70. I turned on the tilt and shift, so if we turn it off, you can see that our perspective is kind of distorted, so we always have to turn it on so that it's not distorted. Another thing that I've changed is I enabled the camera clipping, and if we turn it off, then you can see the camera looks straight into the walls, and if we enable the environment and clipping, that means that our camera will cut through the walls. That's the only things I changed in the camera settings. Same I did with all the other cameras. If we select other cameras, uh, you can see that the settings are pretty much the same for all the cameras. Now let's select the third camera and the fourth. You can see the settings are pretty much the same. Now we can talk about our lights. We'll go to display panel. I will turn off the visibility for the cameras and I will turn off uh, turn on my lights and as you can see here I don't have too many light sources it's just uh, ceiling lights spotlights it's a mirror light and the lights above the shower so let's select our spotlights as you can see the intensity is on 200 lumen it's just a simple corona light uh, the Kelvin temperature is at 5500 and I set the shape to disk and I turned off all the visibility except for acoustics and uh, including other lights and I also added an IIS pattern so basically it's a corona map it kind of shows you here how the light pattern is going to be and let's say if we change it to something else let's say to white bright you, you will see that it's kind of changing its pattern. Then I have the mirror lights. It's just a rectangle with almost the same settings, except for it doesn't have any IS pattern because we don't really need any patterns. And then I have the light above the shower. It's just higher intensity. It's different shape. And that's it 
for the lights. Now let's talk about the materials and as you can see there are not too many materials in this scene and uh, we will go over three of them I think, the ones that I want to talk about. And let's select our first material, the, the floor material. It's a very simple material too, you can see I just used a bitmap, I found a good texture for, for the floor. I used some color correction, adjusted the color, I reduced the saturation and I used another color correction node to adjust the glossiness and add some bump. Then we have wall material and as you can see it's even simpler than the previous material, it's just a corona color and basic corona physical material, I didn't change anything. Let's select cabinet. It's the same, you can see the only things that I've changed here is roughness. I set it on the default and on the cabinets I reduced the roughness a little bit. And the third material that I want to show you is, is this plane that is below the light. Basically this plane lets the light pass through it and that's why the light looks so smooth on the renders. Okay, let's select this material. And as you can see, I also didn't change much here. We have a color here and we have a translucency. So basically translucency makes the material pass the light through. The, the higher the translucency, the more light is passing through the material. And for this one, I had 0.6. I had a glossiness, everything at the default. And after adjusting everything, the only thing I would need to do is I would go to render setup and I would press here, set up light mix, and that would add a render elements of my lights here. And as you can see here, I have my bathroom mirror, which is this one, bathroom shower, which is a, the light above the shower, and I have my bathroom spot, which is here. And uh, I could control the slides later during the render. And that's it. After doing some adjustments in Photoshop, I would end up with these images. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. That means a lot to me. And see you in the next video.